Hey guys, long time no see! Welcome to another episode of our three last name family. I have been so crazy weird busy. Um, I... In the last month, so I think it's been like a month since I've posted a video, hasn't it? Maybe even longer. Um, my brother came to visit with his family, and then, that was three weeks ago, and then this past weekend, uh, my little, well, I have two brothers. My older brother came three weeks ago. My little brother graduated high school this past weekend. And so, um, we have been traveling and all of this stuff. We got home Monday. Today's Thursday. We got home Monday night late. And then Tuesday I was just wiped. And then yesterday was the kids, um, end of the year school program stuff. And then, um, also, I had to take my sweet friend to the emergency room after that was all done. And so, and then today, I have a, um, my pre-op appointment for my surgery. I'm getting my tubes tied. And so, I'm going to kind of like, I'll try to kind of document what that all ends up being like. Obviously, not the surgery, but I mean, um, what recovery looks like and what that ends up being like. Obviously, this is something that I've never done before. And sometimes sharing this kind of thing might be helpful. So I'll try to document what I can. Um, let's see what else. So that's my appointment today. And then the kids come home for a few hours this afternoon. And then tomorrow they leave on a vacation with their dad. So their dad and I are divorced. Pirate is not their dad. That's how we get three last names in case you haven't watched the first video. Um, if you have questions, go way back to the very first video and that will kind of explain things. Um, anyway, they're going to be gone for three weeks. I won't see them for three weeks, which sucks, but that is, you know, the life of, um, a broken family, honestly. Um, so hopefully while they're gone, I can catch back up on everything. Like I hope to use my time really wisely. Um, let's see what else. What else is going on? Do you hear Audrey? Can you hear her in the background? She's gotten very vocal in the last week or so. Like being around my family and stuff, a lot of conversation with her and people getting in her face. And then also my trip to Chicago, she started to be like, oh, you guys are listening to me? Oh, good. Then I'll start talking. I'll start being in the conversation too. Anyway, so cute. So cute. Um, so I'm hoping to do today as a one take. So, uh, you'll see, like, I'm just going to like pause the camera and then show you various stages of me getting ready and then post it just so that like, I'm, this is sort of my like, Hey, I'm still alive. Um, <laughs> whatever. Anyway. Uh, so I'm going to go brush my teeth and maybe throw back another cup of coffee because, you know, my day is just getting started and I'm so tired. Anyway, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I, um, I hope you guys have been doing good. Um, what's been going on? Hope you guys are doing good. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Do you guys want to know something funny? Nobody in my family likes mint toothpaste, so we have to buy other flavors. So, although I think this is backwards, we have to have strawberry and cinnamon because nobody likes mint. Whatever. This is today's dry shampoo. It's so good, right? <laughs> okay, I do want to tell you guys this too. Um, oh, so for the cornstarch, you just have to like rub it all till it's just like tousled out of your hair. Anyway, um, after I went to Chicago, when I was in Chicago, um, Katie and her mom, Mrs. Franklin, were both like, oh, you should use coconut oil on your face. And everybody had said that for a long time. But like being the sort of like <clears throat> product snob that I am, I was like, okay, but I, I really just need to go buy my regular face cream. Uh, do you like the color of my bathroom walls? Why would you paint a bathroom this color? 
I want to paint it something else, but like this is the first opportunity I've had to think about it because up until like a couple months ago, obviously, I was pregnant and just was more concerned about like not feeling like poop every day. Anyway, sorry. So coconut oil. So Mrs. Franklin gave me um, some coconut oil in this little Tupperware thing. Like how cute. It's actual like vintage Tupperware. How cute is this? Anyway, I have had better results from using coconut oil on my face than some very expensive creams that I used to have access to. Like better results, like the fine lines have gone away. Um, they've been minimized and like weird dryness that I had as a result of um, postpartum, not just pregnancy, but like my skin did real weird stuff after I had the baby. Um, and this has actually helped it. So coconut oil on your skin, such a good idea. Hey, what shirt should I wear? What shirt should I wear? Okay, I think I have turned this upside down, but Hendrix t-shirt it is. Oh, there's my dirty laundry. I'm literally airing my dirty laundry on YouTube. Okay, guys. Um, so I was trying to be in a hurry and get everything done and I got about halfway ready and you may have heard Audrey crying in the background and um, it's because she decided she wanted to eat. So that's what we're doing. This little baby is, there's her little hand and that's all you're going to be allowed to see because this is not that kind of video. But um, oh I have to tell you the funny story. Yesterday I took my friend to the ER and her baby is six weeks younger than my baby and she is like 11 years younger than me though 12 years younger something like that so for she looks young for her age and I look old for my age um so that's what the stress of divorce will do to your life and your face anyway um you will age right Dodge anyway so when we go places a lot of times people will think that I'm her mom so we showed up to the hospital and of course I had Audrey with me and I started nursing Audrey. Um, I mean, I didn't have a blanket or anything, but we were in her little room and the curtain was like half drawn. So it's not like I was just like whipping out my boob in the middle of the waiting room or something to make people uncomfortable. No, we were like in our room, but like the nurses, there was a male nurse and a female nurse and they were both like looking at me funny. And I was like, what is the big deal? Like the community that my husband and I are in is like very like progressive, I guess, compared to some, we're in the buckle of the Bible belt. And so <clears throat> there are some people that, um, it is, um, offensive to their sensibilities. If you just nurse in the open, even if you do have a blanket, it still makes people uncomfortable. So, but I was, I was secluded in our little room and so I was so confused about why it was a big deal that I was nursing. Well then um, they were asking my friend health questions and of course she was letting them know that she'd recently had a baby. They thought the baby in my arms that I was nursing was her baby. <laughs> and so they didn't like come right out and say that but like they every time I would start nursing because we were there for a long time so I nursed her twice while we were there because you know that's how ERs go and while we were there like what every time that I nursed they really looked at me funny and then we like after she was all like getting ready to get discharged the nurse said something about like is this your baby and she was like I was like no it's my baby like duh you guys didn't you see me nursing this baby like we just talked about me nursing this baby and then we realized that um they probably thought that I was nursing my friend's baby and that is super weird or that I was her mom because again somebody did even yesterday ask me if I was her mom if like I was nursing my grandchild okay no I am not that strange I am not that much of a hippie I just you know we try to eat organic and you know explain very basic things to our kids and um treat people nicely and be sort of peaceable because I actually feel like that's a biblical principle but as far as doing things like nursing my own grandchild or 
you know, encapsulating my placenta and things like that. Those sort of things didn't happen. I do have pictures of all that stuff, but I'm not, you know, we're not that crunchy. We are not that crunchy. Anyway, it was just funny. That was a funny story to think about. But anyway, well, I feel like I should sort of wrap this up um, just so that I'm able to finish getting ready and this little lady can finish eating. She looks so happy now. (laughs) She's so cute. Um, There she is. You want to say hi? Oh, I'm doing this one handed. Also trying to keep body parts covered. There she is, a little baby. There you are, little baby. Oh, she's so happy. Yeah. She always looks like she's so skeptical or disapproving of everything. I don't know. Anyway, okay, guys, so I'm going to finish getting ready to go to the doctor and then go to that appointment. And then really, I'm going to try really hard this weekend. I've got some other things going on. Um, I've got to, um, Dan's got some appointments tomorrow for work. And then um, on Saturday, on Saturday, I have another friend that's having a gender reveal party. And so I'm really excited about that. It's going to be really fun. Um Uh, And then Sunday, we usually have stuff going on, too, because we have church and then usually a tutoring appointment then. So yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. Uh, So we need some more subscribers because I feel like this should be like a really, I don't know. Why not? Share the videos. Um, uh, Press the like button. Definitely subscribe if you're watching this. This is about what we do usually... Uh, we're to the point where like usually the kids are in the videos and there's a little bit more activity going on. This is a weird one because I'm trying to just um, let you guys know that I'm still alive and that Arge is still growing. She looks so mad. She looks like her dad right now. That's the face he makes when he gets very tired. Anyway. All right, friends. Thanks for watching another episode of our three last name family. Like and subscribe and share if you want to um comment below tell me who you are do you have a channel um i'm trying to like find some friends in the youtube world too like what's going on um instagram and my blog are going to be posted below what else do i have also twitter Twitter, remember, is our three last name fam, and three is the number three. Instagram is Sarah Fabulicious. Oh, Facebook is only as if if I've actually met you. What else? What else do you want to know? What do you want to see in our videos? What direction should I take this? What's what's interesting? What's not interesting? What what's going on? What's happening? Okay. Okay. All right, so we will see you later. Um, I love you guys. I'm sending good thoughts and prayers to you. Um, If you need some encouragement, let me know. Uh, Check out my blog, too. Thislifeisarecipe.blogspot.com There's some very motivational things there. Um, I share a lot of my personal story there. And um, some of it's quite involved. uh, And so I try to use that as a way to be encouraging and find the silver lining look look, that's her foot (laughs) anyway all right uh i hope you guys have a great day and now i'm actually going to close this vlog okay but wait she's getting her foot again baby foot not other body parts just trying to make sure oh baby feet okay all right bye guys